Hello everyone, it is Lori and I am here to do a bonus reading for you today. No particular topic until Spirit delivers it, okay? Whatever Spirit wants you to know is what the topic will be. All right, let's go ahead and ring the uh, ch chimes over here. These are large, it's going to be loud, so let's go ahead and do that. Be prepared. Let's invite in some lighter energy. And let's roll a zodiac die to see what signs you might be dealing with. You have rolled Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Pisces. Interesting energies there. Very interesting. Okay, how are we doing this, Spirit? Temperance is your overall energy, a need for balance, harmony, keeping your cool, uh, Sagittarius energy here. I'm getting that uh, you're excited about something. Three of Wands, that's going to be, oh, one of your ships is arriving. Look at that. You want something you have been waiting for and you are very excited about has arrived. That is beautiful. No wonder you're exciting. This is an intention that you set a long time ago. Oh my goodness. If I could stop flinging cards. That's Aries energy right there. So you've got double fire energy here. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Hmm. All right, so you've got the Five of Swords with a Tower. Aquarius energy and Venus. Something that you thought was put to rest is going to come back around here and shock you. It's going to be kind of a surprise, and I'm not feeling that it's going to be a great one either. Let's see what else we've got going on here. And it's funny because that Five of Swords did fall on the table. Hmm. Let's go ahead and see what more Spirit has to say about this. The Hermit energy, Virgo energy. Okay. Um. Wow. You are going to need to pull yourself back, pull yourself up out of a situation and really do some hard thinking here because something that you've been waiting for that's got you super excited is not going to turn out to be quite how you thought it was going to be. Oh, what I'm hearing is somebody may have set intentions and expected it to happen this way, and it's just not going to because that's not how spirit can bring it to you. All right. Um, yeah, this, I don't care what this is. It could be a job that you were trying to manifest and you thought it was going to be one way. You actually got the job and then you get in there and you find out, oh, this is nothing like I thought it was going to be. It could be a relationship that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for and you knew it was going to happen. You knew this person was going to come to you, whether it was somebody that you knew or somebody that you're wanting back in your life. You just knew that they were going to come back to you. But what I'm hearing here is that if somebody comes back to you, they're not staying. You thought this was going to be the beginning of your life with them and it may not be. If this is a new person, I am getting that this might actually work out, but it's going to be so shocking to you that you are even attracted to this. But you drew it. You drew it to yourself. It was your intentions. So this tells me that this has more to do with your soul giving you what you wanted because you were putting that energy out into the universe um how do, how do i put this okay when you desire a person the more general you are the more likely you are to get matching energy okay now you may have had it in your head that you wanted 
you know, you were pretty general, but somewhere in you, you may have been saying, I want blonde hair, blue eyes, six foot tall or four foot tall. I don't care which way you go. But you started having some personal beliefs in there um, about what they should look like versus what their divinity looks like. And you may be shocked that you feel so connected to this person when they are nothing like what you are used to. Okay, so you're going to have to take a step back. I don't care what your situation is here. You're going to be caught off guard by this. It is something you're very excited about having happen, but boy, when it comes in, it's not what you expect. And you will have to take some time to step back and think about things. Let me move this down a little bit further for you. Interesting. Interesting. All right, let's see what else is coming on here. The High Priestess. Yeah, see, that tells me this is definitely something you have been manifesting. And you know it. You know it, okay? This is definitely something that you do find the answers to. You do find a way to move forward. But you can say right now, um, once you sit back and you look at this, yep, that's exactly what happened. This is something I manifested. So that means if this person is not what you were expecting or this job is not what you were expecting, it still is what you were desiring, Okay, so maybe it will work out because the high priestess sees everything that has happened, that is happening, and anything that will happen. She sees it all at the exact same time. So if you get the high priestess after the hermit card, this tells me that you have the answers. You'll know exactly what direction to go in. And this probably is uh, something very good for you. Balanced, harmonious, okay? but you're up in your head about it. Yeah, you don't know what direction to go. There's the truth. And it's been something you have been wanting for a long time. So don't just, don't um, throw this away. Don't quit the job immediately. Kind of hang in there for a little bit. Trust that what you set your intentions on are is coming, th it's coming through. You just haven't seen how yet. All right, let's see what else is happening here. This is interesting. Definitely an interesting reading here. The Two of Swords is showing back up. Yeah, you feel like you do not have all the answers or all the information. Even after taking time out and um, knowing there's a path in front of you. Oh, look at this. Notice the swords. They are pointing down. You are denying the truth. You've got the swords that are facing down. Your hands are on those swords, which means, yes, you know and have heard that truth, but look at you with that blindfold on. You're denying the truth. You have the answers. You're the high priestess here. You're tuned in, tapped into your higher power. But you're holding back because this is, didn't come to you like you thought it would. Okay, maybe your person, if you were waiting for a person to come to you from the past, you waited around for them to come, now they're here. Um, I'm hearing that, yes, they want to spend the rest of their life with you, but it's not going to be quite the way you thought. Maybe they uh, don't want to live together, okay? Maybe they don't want to ever get married, but yeah, they want to spend the rest of their life with you. So there's something that's going to give you pause, and I did just have another download come through on that, another um, image. And it had nothing to do with a relationship. It had to do with yourself. Well, if it comes back to me, then I will let you know. But if you allow this um, relationship, this job, this idea that you've been formulating to move forward, there will be healing. You will once again say, oh, yeah, okay, I have hope for the future. This is a dream come true. I manifested this. I brought this about. Now you have Aquarian energy twice here. We, this is your energy. <laughs> Look at this Libra energy here. Putting that blinder on, except that you're not the justice in this card. I wish I could say it was, but this is this is a red flag denying the truth, even though you know it. 
you've accepted it as the truth, but you're like, no, 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 no. I don't want to admit that. I can't, I'm, I've lost whatever it was, and it was another important story. Look at this. This could end up being exactly what you wanted your whole life. This is the Palace of Wands. This is this is like a castle, okay? this There's only four of these in this whole deck, and it's the only deck in tarot that has Palace of Wands that I'm aware of, okay? And this has been around for a while. Um so this is like you finding your castle in the sky, okay? Your new passionate beginning. Life is exciting and fun and everything that you had hoped for, everything your hearts desired. There, it's transformative. It's beautiful. And you're standing in the doorway inviting this person in or this ideal or this thing or yourself. Somebody's waiting for you, okay? Do you see that right there in the doorway? This is beautiful. So do not throw this away when it comes in and you're like, what? That's not what I was... Oh, I got the other message. Somebody's expecting a car from overseas. You ordered, you waited for this vehicle. You Or, or I'm, I'm hearing maybe your husband, wife, brother, sister, somebody very, very close to you. But there's high expectations around this vehicle that's coming in. Okay, maybe it's a somebody else paid for it and you're to receive it you may not even know that yet um anyways there's a lot of excitement around this i think you do know a lot of excitement because you special ordered this vehicle the specific color um the, the seats are leather you know you, all this special equipment inside of it special tires and it comes off of the ship where you're there to see it for the first time and it's not what you expected it's maybe, maybe you were thinking a beautiful purple car and it came out to be a dull purple. There's something not quite right about it. Maybe what I'm hearing, like with a car especially, you thought you were getting something that was economical um, fuel-wise, but this car is much bigger than you thought it was going to be. All right, so now you've got to adjust to that. You're, you have to think about that. Do I want to try to drive a bigger car than what I'm used to? Um, you find out that every, it's everything that it, they said it was going to be. There's nothing different about it other than you pictured it as a smaller thing. So you want to know if you can handle this, okay? It's your manifestation. Spirit is saying yes. No matter what the situation is, yes, you can handle it. I'm also hearing if this is a job and you thought it was going to be one thing and you get in there and all of a sudden you've got more responsibility than you thought, um, that may throw you off, okay? But stick it out. Stick it out. Because I'm hearing it will pay off in the long run. It is exactly what you were manifesting. So it could be that the work environment is what you're looking for. Not necessarily the exact job that you're doing. But you, with time, you will get used to that job because the environment is so wonderful. People are helpful and they make it fun to work there. Okay? Something like that. Beautiful. Look at this. And the Ace of Wands. This is your new spark in life, your passion, your desire. You are going places with this energy. I'm hearing this chime, this, this triangle ringing out like a chime, okay? And everything's contained within here. This is a passionate new beginning. You, I'm hearing a wellspring of something within you has been ignited and is about to boil over. Beautiful energy here. Beautiful energy. All right, let's get some oracle messages here. Because this is really, should we clarify? Do we want to clarify this? We might get more information. Let's go ahead and use the uh, original rider weight here. All right, I guess we're clarifying. Spirit, what more can you tell us about this Three of Wands, the Temperance Three of Wands? What more would you like to tell us about this? Yeah, you're not going to be happy with it when it comes in. 
<laughs> it is not what you're expecting. Oh, look at that. See, you're going to have to go in a different direction with a chariot. However, you've got the world card there and walking into something good. Okay, let's go ahead and see what this Five of Swords Tower energy is. Yeah, don't discount this right away. Sleep on it. Take time to think on about think about it. Look at this. You just had the magician come right out of that deck. You have a miracle that has occurred here. You just didn't realize what it was going to entail. It's not which anytime you have um experimenting, okay? And that's what magicians do is they say, okay, these are the resources I have, these are the things I have, this is the intention that I have. But we never know exactly what's going to happen because we're experimenting. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this. You've got the high priestess again. And this card was upside down on the deck. So some sort of information may come at you pretty quick. But it's something you already know. Wow, this is incredible. I like this reason, reading, reasoning. Maybe there's reasoning here. Look at this. The hermit, when you take a step back, you see how fortunate you are, how lucky this is that your manifestation came to be. Okay? It happened exactly as it was meant to happen. You're the only one who can change that wheel. Nobody else can change, turn that wheel. Only you. And you do it when you step back and you realize how good you have it. I have a, a uh, prism up on my ceiling up there, and I don't know where it came from. The light. Oh, it's coming from the dragon in the window. My crystal dragon's in the window. It ho usually holds my uh, mini blinds up against the window so no heat comes in. I don't know why I'm so distracted by that, but it's gone. I can't even show it to you. The sun went behind a cloud here. All right, let's go ahead and see what the high priest, or yeah, the high priestess can tell us. What would she like to tell us? Or tell you, I guess. Page of Cups, think outside the box. Don't be so rigid. Loosen up. See that this is can be fun. Use your imagination. Take it to new levels, new places, new levels, new heights. Okay, everything's right. There's nothing wrong here. It just is not what you expected. Oh, look, look at that. Rise above it with the judgment card behind the hair font. Everything's right as rain. You're, it's, it's just leveling up, letting the past ideals of what you thought it was going to be go, and embracing and accepting things as they are, okay? You've got a beautiful miracle right in front of you. Whatever this is that you manifested, you brought this about. It's exactly what your heart desires. It just may not be what your eyes or your ego thought it would be. Incredible reading here. Let's go ahead and look at this denial that's happening on here. Happening here. We got three cards clarifying the two of swords here. Five of pentacles. There's that high priestess again, and seven of swords. Okay, so come in out of the cold. Seek sanctuary. Find a place within yourself. Church, community, anywhere. Okay. Find sanctuary. Bring yourself in out of the cold. Don't allow yourself to be out here going, oh, I don't know what's happening, even though you know exactly what's happening. Get yourself in check, okay? Get in tune with your higher power here, your high priestess. Strategize, plan. And, you know, I don't know if you guys heard me say this, but the yellow in this card talks about the sun being out. Okay, so this person is sneaking around in broad daylight. So what does that tell you? That there's no sneakiness. What they're trying to do is lighten up the energy. They're trying to take other distractions, other people out of the situation and let you see it for what it really is because there's two swords pointing down. Okay, it is the truth. And you got an alignment and you brought in this miracle that you were looking for. Okay? That's what this card is for you right here. 
Everything is exactly as it's supposed to be. This is not a bad thing. This is a good thing. So just trust that spirit knew what was best for you, okay, and brought it in. All right, let's go ahead and see what the star card means for you. Look at this, hermit and the hermit. You've got a new path to find, or a follow, not find. You've already found it, okay? This is you following that new path. Here, you're seeking the path. Here, you have found the path. Your lantern is lit with a star. The star that's here is inside that lantern right there. And this is your future. This is your hope for the future. You know exactly where you're going. You're feeling lucky. It's a brand new start, okay? It has been divinely guided and offered to you. Are you going to take it? If it's the job, are you going to keep it? If it's a person, are you going to get rid of it? Are you going to keep it? Value it is what Spirit's saying. This is something worth having. It is something you've wanted for a very long time. And look, it's here. Spirit has brought it to you. You brought it to you. You and Spirit co-created this. It is beautiful. It is going to be good for you. Let's look at the Palace of Wands here. <gasps> Ten of Cups. Happiness. This is the third time today you guys have gotten uh, the Ten of Cups and you know, all, have only had two readings. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, this is your castle in the sky. This is your happy home, your happy life, your elevation, your success, your passion, your desire. Look, the Knight of Wands is up here and here facing each other, okay? Beautiful. Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, success, gratitude, emotional satisfaction, Harmony. Oh, my goodness. Let's look at this. Ace of Wands here. I'm so glad Spirit said just do a bonus reading. Let me tell you what to say. Let me tell you. Some, so many times I do try to just pick what needs to be done, you know, according to my little schedule here. I, I write it all out, and then I'm like, I don't know. Spirit was adamant today. And there was a reason, too, why... Uh, Oh my gosh, look at this. It's the Four of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, Spirit, there was a reason why Spirit broke my uh, first, your general reading in half. There is a reason for that. I don't know what it was yet, but it, there was a reason for it. Maybe it's where it was or because the second part ended on 11-11. I didn't set that out, okay? And in fact, I got cut off at the end of that. All right, let's look at the Ace of Wands here. Now you got three wands again. <laughs> got two here. You got the three of wands here. This is a new future, new beginning, new intention. The whole world is out there in front of you. You are so passionate and excited about something here. Oh, and it could be a money maker or stability, happiness, joy. Overcoming your fears, facing your demons, something that's been a long time in coming here. Beautiful. Yep. This is going to take you in a different direction. Look at that, how quickly. This is how quickly you overcome any heartbreak, heart disappointment. It's not heartbreak. This is how quickly you are able to overcome the disappointment. So I am hearing just when you decide to look at things differently, everything works out beautifully. So it's all about how you're going to look at the situation. What are you doing with it? Okay. Beautiful. Let's get a couple oracle messages here. Don't forget to tickle, tap, boop, or zap that like button. Also, claim this in the comments if it's resonating with you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would, uh, I'm giving you a personal invit invitation to join us. I will say I have noticed we have an influx of people that are not being kind. People make mistakes. People speak wrong. Please don't call attention to other people's mistakes until you cannot cast, can say you have not made any any yourself, okay? 
But we would love to have you join us. Education. Educate yourself. 35. Get to know something better. Take time out to study. Learn. Listen. Hear. Hear on. Actually, that's an egret. But let's see what this says. Wisdom, okay, life is filled with lessons, so make sure that you are teachable. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it in books. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what it is you are seeking, the direction you need to take, <laughs> your circumstances, or the nature of your questions. Important information is on the way. Now is the time to go to school, ask a person who might know more than you do, or find a teacher or a course study so that you can meet, um, more clearly understand what the next right action is. Seek the answer within yourself, okay? It's within you. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar place and you must learn through experience. Now is the time to be teachable, open to changing your preconceived ideas of what you were about to receive. Be a student and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all. Oh, I don't know yet. Right now, I don't know, but I will. Okay, beautiful message there. Beautiful message there. I just watched a documentary about ayahuasca. It was pretty interesting. I had no idea um, what ayahuasca really was, what it was about, or anything else. So if you have preconceived notions like I did, you may want to watch that. It is an hour and 40 minutes long. It was very well done. I will say that. But I also discovered that I have reached the same point um, that some of these people have without using the ayahuasca. And I think we... I think my message that I took from that was that we all reach and heal ourselves and go through life with different experiences. Ayahuasca may not be the route for me, but I definitely saw the benefits of it for those people who have uh, were in that documentary. Knowing, look at this, knowing, education, smart, wisdom, divination, conversation, energy, and free will. I don't know if we've had that card in a long time, and I opened up right to the page. Craziness. The crystal associated with knowing is labradorite. Labra, lab, labradorite. There we go. Labradorite. There is a certain not knowing in not knowing. Let go of that need, and life will be transformed. Oh my gosh. So it's in knowing that you don't know it yet. That's exactly what this card just said. There is a certain understanding in the not understanding. Let go of that need to understand and life will be transformed. The wise woman in this card is consulting the tarot cards, is well versed in the ancient knowledge passed down through generations of seers and sorcerers, sorceresses. Interesting choice of cards here. She will view your palm as a roadway to reason and dance with the fates on the end of a pendulum chain. She can also tell if you are ready to hear, oh yes, that the real wisdom lies within and divination can only point out the work required to dissolve what we think we know. Wow. Oh my. Gee. Wow. The cockatoo in the card and cat both symbolize freedom from limiting beliefs. The cockatoo does this through compassionate delivery and mirroring, while the cat holds strong to the power of its convictions, even when it's sleeping. Carrying a piece of lab Labradorite is in a pouch may help protect your aura, and in particular, your third eye chakra when giving and receiving readings. Oh, so I have my labradorite, but it's over there. Okay, the way of the seeker, the divine seer and prophet is an important and magical passage for much of humanity. There is a freedom and transformation in the realization that all knowledge is available at any time. I say that all the time. We do not require a key or a great belief system or a faith in other people to unlock it. 
it could be said we do not need to know at all okay it's right there it's everything you need to know is there so it's not even like you have to know or have to seek it what you have to do is seek quiet and, and meditate and there's the answers when that need to know becomes still we can explore and we can be curious about energy exchange and divination is a wonderful tool to converse openly with ourselves. I don't know why, but that just fits so clearly with the ayahuasca conversation that I just had. So my head's spinning. Um, this is card 28, which is 10. This is 38 or 35, which is an eight. All right. I think that, um, oh, spirit wants a soul coaching message. Yeah, tickle, tap, boop. I think I did that whole nine yards. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. I will send you prices and um, all the information you need. Also, oh, today's uh, general reading, in case I did not mention this, got cut in half. I think it was my, my bad. I think I did it. Not really sure how, but anyways... It is in two sections, so if you go to watch that um, message, it comes out before this one. It is in two parts, so make sure you look for part one with one title and part two that has the same title, okay? Light. Your light radiates throughout your life and the world around you. And passion. Look, your passionate new beginning. You passionately accept and love yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Beautiful message there. And Spirit wants to give you an astrology card here. I was kind of surprised by that. When I was pulling these, Spirit was like, please get the astrology out. Venus energy. Give and receive love. Find the value. I know I said that with the Ace of Pentacles. And see the beauty even if it doesn't look feel or whatever like you thought it was going to it is the manifestation you brought about look who's on the bottom of the deck my dear libras okay your energy right there consideration fairness and harmony all right i'm gonna let you go until our energy crosses again i'm wishing you much peace love and happiness Bye bye